I am well aware. I am well aware of what has been happening in Syria for the last 60 years or more. No one has to lecture to me. <laughs> I know the history. Okay? But I am not going to be party ever of any group who seek to liberate themselves from oppression and take weapons and arms from Saudi Arabia and from Qatar and from Turkey. A large number of those who are now fighting Assad in Syria are paid by the Saudis and the Qataris and are trained and have been given arms to go and invade another country. May Allah grant the day will come when Saudi Arabia will be invaded in the same way. Hmm? Qatar and Saudi Arabia are Zionist countries. Oh yes. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ مِنْهُمْ If you turn to them with friendship and alliance, you belong to them, says Allah, not to us. The Judeo-Christian alliance, the Zionist alliance. If there are in Syria those who are not connected whatsoever with the Saudis and with Qatar and with Turkey and with the Zionists, okay? Where are you getting your weapons? Oh, we're taking it from the Syrian army. <laughs> Very convenient answer. Very convenient answer. Hmm? Even if you have your own weapons, you do not launch your struggle at this time to liberate yourself. This is the wrong time because you're going to be used as guinea pigs. Whatever success you achieve will be beneficial to them. So you're acting very foolishly, very foolishly to use this moment, the second Arab Spring, to get rid of Assad. Choose a different time, not a time when Saudi Arabia and Qatar and the Zionists are sending men into Turkey armed with weapons and financed by them and trained by them. Choose another time, not this time. Okay? So, I know about oppression. It's not just in Syria, of course. There's more oppression in Saudi Arabia. But how many of them going to Saudi Arabia to liberate Saudi Arabia? How many? They'll never do that. They will never do that. Never, 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 never do that. What kind of jihad is that? They don't even think about that. Hijaz is the heart of Islam. The Hajj is today under Zionist control. That's worse than Assad anyway. How many of them are prepared to go to Saudi Arabia to wage jihad? None. How many will go to Qatar to liberate Qatar? None. How many will go to Turkey to liberate Turkey? From NATO control, none. But you want to get rid of Assad. I am not a supporter of the Syrian government. No. But I'm not going to be taken for a ride by those who want to use this moment, this moment, to overturn this government. Because I know when Assad falls, then Syria will become another Libya. If that is what you want, that is what you'll get. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want that day to come when Imam al-Mahdi will be there in Damascus, your city. And the Jahan will be there, your city. And Nabi Isa al-Islam returns, your city. Damascus is too important. From the time Assad falls, what you call the greatest enemy of the Muslims, Russia is room. You should first of all prove that I am wrong. When I say room in the Quran is Russia today. Prove me wrong. Prove to me that room today is the Roman Catholic Church in Vatican. And room today is the Anglo-American Alliance. It's only either Eastern Christianity or Western Christianity. Which one? Which one is room? The Quran speaks about room and speaks positively, positively about room. And Nabi Muhammad said we'll make an alliance with Rome. 
And guess who's made alliance already? Iran. Iran has already made an alliance with Rome. So those who want to consider Russia as their greatest enemy of the Sunni Muslims, go ahead. We are not a part of that. We've done enough to tell you that Russia is now changing and returning to Christianity. How else can we explain the State University of Moscow reaching out to me to invite me to come to Moscow when I'm preaching Islam? If there's so much hatred for Islam. Hmm? Any other questions?